internet, hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to share with you my August bullet journal setup. I didn't get a chance to share either my June or July setup videos thanks to all the traveling I was doing, so this may feel a little bit rusty. In fact, I felt a little bit rusty filming it, but hopefully you'll enjoy the video anyways. So, for August, I decided to go with the candy theme because later in the month, I'm actually going to be attending the Sugar Republic event with some friends, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Basically, just an event all about candy and it's like they have massive gumball machines and everything. I'm like really excited. So, the theme just felt perfect. So, I made sure to use my uni pin pen for outlining the candy art because it's actually waterproof ink, which means that when I'm in a watercoloring mood later on, I can always come back and color in the candy. Okay, so flipping over to the next page, I'm going to put down my habit tracker for August. The habit tracker is one of those consistent features that I have in every single month. I just love and obsessed over it. I get a real kick out of hitting it out every single time I hit a goal. So the new habit I'll be tracking this month will actually be no spend, where I don't spend any money for a day. I'm trying to focus really hard on saving money and reducing my overall spend, so I'm challenging myself to try and have as many no spend days as possible. I will say taking my lunch to work every single day has made a massive impact on my budgeting. I don't spend nearly as much money anymore because I don't eat out as much, which, you know, comes as no surprise. So moving on to my monthly view, another constant in my bullet journal videos because I love the overview feel that I get when I look at an entire month. Setting up these boxes always takes me a while because I much prefer to freehand it than use a ruler, which is what I used to do in my old bullet journal. But I want to make sure as I'm drawing them out, my palm or my hand doesn't rest on any part I've just drawn, else I will smudge the ink. I've done this so much and it's so irritating because I hate a messy looking monthly view. So you kind of need to keep twisting and changing the angle of the planner to avoid it. So I'm going to add in all the events or activities I know I'll be doing for the month. So for this monthly view, I only add my personal activities. Anything around my videos, shop, businesses, vlogs, stuff like that tend to go into my Erin Condren monthly view. I used to have them all together and it got really overwhelming to see everything in one day. So I stopped doing that. And then obviously I have a separate planner for work related activities and I'm actually considering, wait for it, another planner for my meal prepping and stuff like that. So if you ever wondered why I have so many planners, it's because mentally I function a lot better if things sit in their own buckets. So I'm going to set up the first week of August as part of this video as well. This particular format I'm trying to use now is excellent at tracking my time and I really want to get the most out of time tracking. Not surprisingly, I already knew that I spent the majority of my awake time at work, but outside of work, I'm really looking to try and motivate and optimize the time I already have. For example, I'd like to see how much time I actually spend working on the sticker shop and whether I can improve that. Or stuff like that. I did something really similar to this last year at the end of last year actually for my three months when I took that time off work and it worked amazingly well for me. I became crazy productive with my time so fingers crossed even though I now have a full-time job in the mix of it the effect will carry over. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's my entire video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you internet. <music>